Now I'm going to show you how to put on spot putty, which is this here. There's a couple of tricks to it. You can buy this in any store, whatever. It's it's a lacquer based, and it will all air dry. It's not a, it's not enamel. What we want to do is we want to find the low spots, like right here. You can see where there's a rip along here. What's happened is this guy has put this little bike away somewhere in or pulled it out of somewhere and uh, something has scratched it. Well we want to fill in the scratch with putty along with these scratches here and these other little scratches along the bottom. Remember when you're painting black, black is the most unforgiving hardest color to paint and make it look right. Now I, all I want to do is make this panel look new. I don't want to make it look like the new Ferrari F35 or whatever the hell we got out now. But I've sanded the rough spots down on the edges here, here and here, and along these scrapes. Remember when you use the spot putty, see it's even in Mexican, Spanish I mean. When you use the spot putty, less is more. All you want to do is put on very light coats. All you want to do is get it enough on here to fill this in. And remember, it's going to shrink about, oh, probably 10% with the, when the lacquer uh, evaporates out of it. You want to put on just enough to just slightly cover that. And you do not want to go too thick at all because you're going to have to wet sand. You're going to have to wet sand it off. And this is wet and dry sandpaper. This is 400. This is wet and dry. It's 1500. You want to take your time. Remember, painting is an art, but it's like all other arts. If you're good at piano or basketball or or uh, computers, it takes practice. You can't do it all at once. If if you could, everyone would do it. The problem in this world is there are not enough good teachers that stand behind their students and tell them where they're making a mistake and encourage them and help them become better craftsmen by passing on their trade and their learning from the older generation to the younger generation. There are, out of a hundred thousand teachers, I would say 500 of them are any good. The rest of them just got in the job because it pays good and it's easy work. So I'm one of the 500, even though I'm not getting paid. Now I'm going to uh, use this spreader right here. Usually we use a little rubber one, and I have those. But since my shop is in such a mess right now, I'm not going to go and dig through and find it. But we're going to put the spot putty on and go very, very lightly over here. Now you've only got two or three passes before the putty starts to get um, grainy. And if that happens, then just let it go, let it dry in an hour, sand it down. The reason that we want to just fill in this area is because as you're sanding away with that sandpaper, you're taking this area down and also the area on where the scratch is. So you want to do as, as little sanding on the original flat areas if you can. You don't want to create a huge hump right here with spot putty and then have to have to sand it down and then you're sanding all this area around here too sanding it lower remember less is more okay or that's what I always tell my wife and she always uh, <laughs> laughs at me all the time but then again I'm married so I expect to be treated that badly alright I'm gonna uh, turn this off and put some putty on here and show you what it looks like for a first coat. Now I put my first coat of spa putty on. And there's a couple of things I want to go over about it. Mainly what they say is you can't put spot putty on bare metal because you need to prime it first. That is that's generally the way it's done. But we have to remember that spot putty is a very thick primer with a lacquer to make it liquid, a lacquer thinner, 
and when we put it on then it dries and we sand it. We wet, you have to always wet sand it, always. Now, primer, if you've ever uh, seen a car sanded, you see primer dust all over the place. You look at that stuff and say, well, what is that? Well, I'll tell you what it is. This is what primer is. It's baby powder. It's talcum powder, not with lavender. Maybe in San Francisco, but not here. Definitely not here. Talcum powder with a binder and um, lacquer to spray it on a liquid. Now when you put it on, there's a couple things you want to do. You do not want to go too thick or else it will crack. You may have to do this 5, 10, 20, 30, 40 times. It doesn't matter. Build up layer upon layer. You don't want to put it on thick in one coat. When you do put it on, you do not want to have any edges up here here or here. If you'll notice there is a big scratch right in here and I've just put enough to cover in the scratch and the rest of it's smooth. Now it takes about an hour for the for the primer or the uh, spot putty to dry. You can tell because it'll be red, very red on the inside, it'll start to go white or uh, lighter orange on the outside and most um, spot putties I've ever seen have always been orange. I, they make it orange so that they offset against the gray uh, primer and most primers are, are they're colored gray. They're either gray or they're dark red and, and I, the only ones I've used is gray so grays worked really good for me. So I put it on this side and it's all nice and smooth. My first coat, I'm going to have to put two or three more coats on it maybe. Then we, we switch to the other side of the fender well here. This is all about surface preparation. Remember, we had a really big rip right here. And you can see the rip line from here all the way down to here. I put on, I put in just enough to just cover it. Because when I sand, I don't want to. Sand, I'm going to be sanding down this part, this part, this part, and also the spot putty. So remember, less is more. And when I take some water and some 1500 grit or 1000 grit or whatever grit you want to use, you want to use a high grit at least 800 800 wet wet then as you slowly sand on it you want to go over it with your fingertips and if you feel anything at all like like our other videos on on the mirror finish if you feel anything at all you're gonna see it you, you learn to use your fingertips they're very very sensitive okay